Hey and welcome to designgebookcover.com I am going to teach you today one of the best way to create ebook cover using Photoshop. On this package you are going to get 10 different ebook layouts. To find out the ebook that you want to use, open the file that called ebook cover folder. Above each one of the folders, you can see the folder name that contains the layout. There is one folder that you are not going to see now, and that folder is called all the ebooks. On this folder, you have one PSD file that contains all the 10 ebook layouts. Using that PSD file, you will be able to edit all of them in just few minutes. We are going to start the work using Cover 1. Open the Cover 1 folder and the Cover 1 PSD file. This is the ebook layout that you are going to see. And on the right side, you can see the last panel. This is the shadow layer, the shadow that behind the ebook, the pages layer the left side layer. If you want to change the color of the left side, press twice on the color box that's on the left side and choose the color that you want. And the font layer. The font layer using the smart object function. And we are going to make all the changes using this layer. To open it, press twice on the icon that's on the left side of the layer. As you can see, Photoshop has opened us a new window, a flat window of the 3D layout. Any changes that you are going to make on this window will take effect on the 3D layout after you will save the window. I will show you first what each one of the layers does and then I will teach you how to edit them. The name on the right side of each layer will explain you what the layer does. This is the other name, the outer background, your red line, your red line background, your tagline, tagline background, your website, website background, put the image here low. You are going to put the image that you want on the design above this low and the background low. If you want one of the layers to disappear from the design, you can press on the eye that is on the left side of the layer and the layer will disappear. Any layer that have a T icon on its left side is a text layer. To change the text, you need to press twice on the T icon that on the left side and put your new text. When you're done, press on the V that on the top window to improve that. You can do the same to all the other text layers. If you want to change the color of the text, the text layer needs to be selected. Then on the toolbar, select the type tool. And on the top window, you will see a color box showing up. Press on that once and choose the new color that you want. You can change the colors of any layers that have a color box on the left side. To do that, press twice on the color box and choose the new color that you want. You can do the same to all the other layers. If you want to add a picture to the design, open the picture inside of Photoshop. Select the part in the picture that you want to use using the rectangle marquee tool and copy it by going to edit and copy. In the ebook flat window, paste it above the letter that say put time image here. You can do that by going to edit and paste. If you want to move the picture inside of the design, select the move tool and drag the picture to the place that you want. Now when you finish making the design, all you have to do is to save the window. You can do it by going to File and Save. After saving, go back to the 3D window and you will see all the changes that you made on the flat layout affected the 3D layout as well. If there is something here that you don't like, 
you can always go back to the flat window by pressing twice on the smart object change it save it again and you will see the changes on the 3D layout there are a few ebook layouts that use in more than one smart object like cover 2, cover 3, cover 7 and cover 10 I am going to show you how to edit them as well let's open cover 10 folder and cover 10 PSD as you can see we have in the font layer that we have on cover 1 and the left side we need the left side to continue the right side perfectly that why on each cover that has two smart objects we have also a PSD that called ebook cover flat open the PSD that called ebook cover flat on cover 10 folder and you will get a flat ebook layout we are going to make all the changes on this window and just copy the left side to the left side smart object and the right side to the front smart object you can now make all the changes the same as you did on cover 1 the left headline is the headline that on the left side of the ebook you can change it the same I'm going to add a picture now and put it above the layer that called put image We are going to merge now all the layers to one layer. After we will do that, you won't be able to make any changes to the layout. So if you want to save the file now, go to File, Save As, and give it a new name. To merge all the layers, go to Layer, and choose Merge Visible. As you can see, all the layers become one layer. There is a guideline that separates the left from the right. If you don't see it, go to view, show, and put the view on guides. Now choose the rectangle marquee tool and select the left side of the ebook. Copy it by going to edit, copy, and go back to cover 10 PSD. Open the smart object on the layer that called left by pressing twice on the icon that on its left side. In here, paste the picture by going to edit and paste and then save it by going to file and save. Now do the same to the right side. Select the right side. Copy it. Go back to cover 10 PSD. Open the front smart object by pressing twice on the smart object icon and paste it. Now go to file, save and go back to cover 10 PSD. This is how you change the layout that have two smart objects. Now we save the best to the end and we are going to show you now how to edit all the ebooks file. Open all the ebooks PSD file. We have in here 10 folders. Each one of the folders contains one of the ebook layouts. Above all of them you have two smart objects and you can edit them the same way as you did on cover 10. I am not going to create again the ebook layout because I already show you that on cover 10. So I'm just going to copy and paste what we did on cover 10. I'm going to paste it on the front smart object. Save it. Now you will do the same to the left side. And paste it on the left side smart object. And 
As you can see we changed all the 10 ebook layouts in just one minute. All you have to do is to change those two smart objects inside this PSD. This is it. I hope you understood from this video how easy is that to create your own ebook design. Thank you for joining me and I hope you enjoyed this video.